It's Computer Stuff with Carl Bleming. I received a comment on one of my old videos that was about this, uh, this old Apple claim shell iBook uh, from a YouTuber named BlingBling826. And they asked me, uh, what is Bon Echo? And how does YouTube perform on this old 10-year-old computer? Well, Bon Echo is uh, the development name for Firefox version 2. And uh, that is, that's what I run on this computer because it, uh, it uses an old operating system called uh, OS X Panther. And uh, Firefox 2 is the newest version that will run on that operating system. And as far as how, how well YouTube videos play on it, uh, well, it has a, a G3 PowerPC processor running at 366 megahertz. So basically not very well. <laughs> I did make a modification to this iBook where I took the hard drive out and replaced it with a sort of a makeshift solid state drive that I made with uh, two compact flash cards and a uh, CF to IDE adapter. But the limitation I don't think is the solid state drive because I think that's fast enough to handle the transfer of the data. It's just the PowerPC processor just isn't up to the task of uh, displaying the streaming video. Now I've got a couple examples here so let me show you what I mean. Okay I just booted the computer and I have a text file open here with a couple links in it which I'm going to use as samples. I'll start up Bon Echo. Okay, now the first video I'm going to show you is now this is just this is a YouTube video which is just 19 seconds long. It's a video of uh, a laptop computer sitting on a table and the camera just spins around it. So let's see how this plays. Now the first thing you see is a message from YouTube saying that this is an outdated browser, which is true. It's it's version 2 of Firefox. But uh, it's the most recent one that will work on this computer. Now I paused it as soon as it started because I wanted to let the whole video load. As you can see in this bar down here, I waited for the red part to go all the way across because then it, it always plays smoother if you uh, if you wait for that to happen. If it's buffering as it's as it's playing, then it uh, slows down even more. But look at look at what happens here. See, it's not a smooth playing video. It's look, it just looks like a series of uh, still frames. And the sound cuts out halfway through. I guess the sound finishes playing and then the video tries to catch up with it. Okay, I'm going to pause it near the end here. <clears throat> now, if you look at this, this is uh, playing at 360p. There is a 240p option, so, so let me try that. It'll be a lower quality image, but it may play a little smoother. Okay, now I'm going to play it at the 240p and see how that goes. See, it's better. The sound is synced up with the video throughout the whole uh, clip. It doesn't have the fluid motion that you would have on a modern computer. Now let me try that other one. I have That one is just a 19 second one. This is a couple minutes long.
and it keeps freezing because it's trying to buffer it as it plays. Let me just stop it for a minute. I was wrong, it's not a couple minutes, it's only a minute 29, but still it's a little longer. Okay, I just let the whole thing uh, download. Now I'll play it. See, this is really bad. This is unwatchable. Okay, let me stop this again. Switch this one to 240p. And again, you see it's a little smooth. It at least plays at 240p. But still, it's like a series of still images. So you can see how bad YouTube is on this old computer. Um, now, it should be possible to uh, download the video and then play it with a media player like VLC. And I tried to do that. I, uh, I downloaded a uh, uh, Firefox plugin, which was supposed to let you uh, download YouTube videos. Um, but I, I couldn't get it to work. Uh, it's, it's supposed to uh, give you a button underneath the video that you click and then you can select what format you want to download it as. The plugin installed okay, but it didn't show me that button. I suspect that's because the computer is using an old version of JavaScript that just wasn't compatible with the, the plugins, even though they said they would work with Firefox too. And I downloaded two different plugins and got the same result. Now I know it's possible to do it the hard way. You know, Firefox keeps a cache of temporary files whenever you view a web page. And it should be possible to start the YouTube uh, video playing, pause it while it's playing, wait for the whole thing to finish loading, and then switch over to another tab in Firefox. Type about the colon symbol, and then the word cache, C-A-C-H-E. And that will give you a list of all the file, all the temporary files. And you just have to find the, uh, the video, which probably will end in either FLV or SWF. I'm not sure. But then you can download it and then play it in a separate program like VLC. That's just too much effort for this. You know, I'm, I'm just going to conclude that uh, the this old iBook is great for typing. It's great for uh, you know, re as far as internet browsing, it's good for reading news websites and blogs. But for YouTube videos, uh, not so much. So I hope that answered the question. And if you have any more, please let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.